Good morning, dear students of class 10. I hope all of you are keeping social distancing to keep yourself free from the deadly coronavirus. Now, the students of class 10, now I am coming to the second part, another important topic as class 10 computer conditional or selection statement in Java. Now, first let me explain what do you mean by conditional statement. Conditional statement means a set of a set of statements will be executed depending upon the condition. Suppose if the condition is true, the, the set of statements will be executed. If the condition is false, another set of statements will be executed. Now, this conditional statements can be broadly classified into four types. We have if statement, if else statement nested if statement switch statement now this if statement means suppose i want to check a number is even or not just in this uh, whenever i will write a program there will be if one if statement second i am coming suppose the program is to check a number is odd or even now in this program i have to check both a number is odd or even so i will require the help of this if as well as else next is nested if nested if means in my program multiple if statements will be there like an example like i want to check a student is eligible for uh, either for par excellence distinction first honors second honors or or the student is failing so for that I will require the help of nested if statement. The last one is coming as the switch. The switch and this nested if work in a similar way. Here also in the switch statement also multiple statements will be there. Depending upon the condition, particular set of statements will be executed. Now, in order to understand this four, all these four types, I will explain with the help of a program for each type. Okay, yeah. dear students, now the first uh, first point, if statement, this can be explained only with the help of a program. Now the program is, write a program to check a number is positive. Now in order to check a number is positive, in a number line, in a number line if we see, so 0 is there, here is the positive side, here is the negative side. So, if a number is greater than 0, means it is positive. So, I have given a class name as number, curly bracket open, public word num. Here is the number input. Number is there. So, here is the if condition. If the number is greater than 0, system out of printl and positive. Next, coming as if else statement. Same program. Write a program to check a number is positive or negative. So again we will take the help of the number line. Now, so class number public void num int n. Now if n greater than 0, so if it is more than 0, so system dot out dot print ln positive else the number is negative. So, in this, if you see, now suppose if the condition is true, if the condition is true, now I'll take, uh, if the condition is true, suppose I take an example number as 5. So, 5 will come here. So, here the condition is true. So, this statement will be executing, not this one. Now, I'll go to the next one. Suppose I take an another number as minus 5. Minus 5. It will, first the computer will come here, the compiler will check here, if minus 5 is greater than 0, condition is false. So this statement will not be executed, computer will execute this statement, so the number is negative. Now the students, the third part, nested if statements. Now this nested if can be well explained with the help of a program only. Now listen to the question, a program. Write a program to enter name and marks in three subjects. Calculate average 
and display grade according to the following conditions now you see the table given below so we have left left column as average right column heading as grade so all of you see the table properly so you are having a plus a b c d based upon the average range now i'll show how to write a program based upon this then the concept will be clear we'll see the program so class name student public void school so the inputs are name marks uh, as m1 second subject marks as m2 third subject marks as m3 so here i am de declaring initializing the average as double avg grade string g equal to this now i am finding out the average m1 plus m2 plus m3 whole divided by 3 now we'll go for the condition if the average is greater than 90 and average less than 100 grade is a plus then second above 80 less than equal to 89 grade is a then the next average above 70 and less than 79 grade is b and above 60 and uh, less than 69 grade is c now the next condition if the average is above 50 less than 59 grade d the next as average above 40 less than 49 grade is pass and the last one if the average is less than 40 grade is fail now what the computer will do whenever the condition is true or whenever the computer will find out the average and the computer will check the average is coming under which conditions either the first one second one or third one whichever the if is true that particular g will be active and it will be displayed at the last now in the last part it is coming as so this is the output part system dot out dot print and name name we are uh, this variable we are displaying it and the grade so we will grade display now the fourth one switch statement now this can be clearly explained with the help of a program now the question is write a program to perform addition subtraction multiplication division and remainder of two numbers now i am starting the program so i start the program with a class name as number and this is the way we create a menu creation of a menu is compulsory and this menu carries two marks in our program we start with the method these are the inputs two numbers a and b and ch uh, represents a choice choice means out of this five which one you are interested so here i can give the options between one to five now here i am initializing all the variables for addition subtraction multiplication remainder then double quotient now i am starting the program with switch now the switch is a keyword now switch keyword ch the choice Next is, now the first is addition. I'll perform the job of an addition. So, SM equal to A plus B. Then I'm displaying the number. Then break. Now, whenever we'll do a program by using switch, these are compulsory. So, program with, uh, whenever I'll write a program by using switch, I should write switch, case and break. So, this is case 1. Now, we'll get go to case 2. Now case 2, we are performing the job of subtraction, we are printing break, condition 3 or case 3 we are performing. Now we are coming to the fourth condition, we are finding out the quotient, we are displaying the answer here. Fifth condition, we are finding out the remainder, we are displaying the remainder here. Now the what is the importance of this default statement? Now default statement means suppose 
if the computer or the compiler does not find any of the condition is true then this default statement will be executed system the outdoor println wrong choice then we are closing the bracket for switch this switch then public void then class Next topic coming as iteration statements or looping statements. First, let me define what is a loop. Loop means a set of instructions will be executed repeatedly till the condition is false. Now, in so this is the loop. Now, these loop statements are of three types. First type is the for loop. Second, while loop. And the third is do while loop. Now this for loop. Now this for loop is executed when, when the user known how many times the loop will be executing. Like example, like if we want to print the even numbers from one to hundred, so always we'll go for for loop. Now, now in case of while loop, we'll use in a situation where we know that we have to use the loop, but we don't know. How many times the loop is to be repeated? Example like to check a number is palindrome or not, Armstrong number, to reverse a number, we use the while loop. Similar way in the do while loop. Now this for loop is known as, is also known as entry controlled loop. Entry control loop means what? Means the condition uh, this for loop as well as the while loop. Both are known as entry control loop, meaning is the condition is checked at the beginning. If the condition is true, the statements will be executed. And the do while loop is known as an exit control loop, means what? The condition is checked at the last. Means it is like these two are prepaid condition. This one is a postpaid condition. Dear students, now you see, I am going to write a program based upon a loop. So the question is, write a program to print or and even numbers by using for loop, while loop and do while loop range from 1 to n. Now I am doing it by the first method by using for loop. So all of you see how the program is written. So here we are writing as int i. We are initializing the loop variable for i equal to 1, i less than equal to n, n stands for the maximum limit. Then we are writing if i mod 2, we are checking the remainder. Suppose a number is even, remainder will be 0. Condition is true, System system.out.println even equal to plus i. Next, i mod 2 equal to equal to 1. Suppose the number is odd, remainder will be coming as 1. Divisibility rule, we are applying it here and we are printing it. Now, same program I will rewrite by using while loop. Let's check it. Now, all of you, all of you pay attention. The program is rewritten by using while loop only. Now you see where is the difference. So we are writing in i equal to 1 while i less than equal to n again we are following the same divisibility rule to check a number is even or odd and the increment so all of you pay attention to the increment done now you see in the while loop those three parts i equal to one while i less than equal to n and at the bottom i plus plus those three different parts are written in three different places in while loop while in case of a for loop all those three parts are written in one line now we'll see the same program rewritten by using do while loop now all of you see the third method by using now all of you see the third method by using do while loop now so the process is same the keyword do which is highlighted in red is uh, written at the beginning the increment i plus plus at the bottom and the condition the check condition while i less than equal to n and the importance of semicolon so that's why i told at the beginning that do while loop is called an exit control loop because the condition is checked at the 
last thank you and if you have any doubts any queries you can give me a call thank you be safe and healthy